Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dean, this is Chantel. We've got a slightly different video for you today. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, a few YouTubers reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to be part of a collaboration for a $100 challenge. So that is what we're doing today. Uh, the idea is we need to buy the piece, we need to buy all the materials, and we need to do it all for under $100. Obviously, we're in the UK, so we have a different budget. We have £73.37p, and p I think it is. So yeah, we have to do it under that. So we're doing it with 24 other very talented YouTubers. We'll put up a picture now with all the people who are participating. We'll leave a link in the description of their channel and a link to their videos as well. So make sure you check them out and show them some love. One more thing, guys, we just want to say before we crack on with the video. The day we started our project, we actually both got really ill and we tested positive for COVID. So doing this challenge was an absolute nightmare. We struggled, but we got it done in the end. So that's all that matters. Anyway, enough talking, let's crack on. Okay guys, so here is the unit we have picked up for the challenge. We picked this up for free from Facebook Marketplace. Right, we're starting off with taking off all the hardware and cleaning it all with sugar soap. Okay, so some of the hardware came off really easily. It was a case of just unscrewing it. However, some of the drawers, there was no back to the screw. So I'm not really sure how they put it in, but we're gonna leave that to one side and we'll come back to it later. Okay, so we're just filling the hardware holes with polyfiller and there's also a few little cracks and chips out of the wood that we're filling as well. This take probably half an hour to 45 minutes to dry. Right, so we, everything's dry now, so we're sanding down the wood filler and gave the entire unit a scuff sand as well with 180 grit sandpaper. Okay, so it's time for primer now. We're going to be using Zinza Bin Primer. It's a shellac base and it helps prevent any wood bleed, tannins and all that kind of stuff coming through. So I decided to sand down and prime the drawers where the screws are still in there. We still need to figure out a solution, but we'll figure that out along the way. Okay, so obviously we couldn't leave the house because we're isolating. So we had a rummage through our tool bag and we found an old hacksaw blade, which seemed to work quite well. We sawed the screws off and then we also found an old grinder that my dad gave us ages ago. So we just grinded the screws down flat and um, so they weren't sharp and they were safe. So yeah, it worked pretty well. Before we started painting we wanted to measure and pre-drill the holes uh, for the new hardware because we didn't want to drill in our freshly painted drawers. So we're prepping the unit for his first coat of paint and we're sanding it down with a 220 grit sanding sponge. These were the colours that we had available to us. We had an idea in our head, so we're just going to go for it.
okay because as you can see when we were taping it up our brains weren't working we couldn't focus we were stressing out we couldn't even use a measuring tape properly we were so distracted and everything so Chantal went for a little lay down and then I decided to paint the whole unit blue don't ask me why um, it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time and um, in hindsight probably not but anyway yeah, so we painted the whole unit blue and then we thought we'll just give the whole unit a distressed look so the colours would come through. Hopefully it would look pretty cool. Okay, so here we are sanding down the drawers. We used um, 180 and 220 grit sandpaper, just to try and get that distressed look. Um, it actually turned out all right in the end, but it was a lot more hard work than we thought it was. We were sweating. This is not the best footage, but we will show you in the end results what it looks like. Okay, once all the distressing was done over the unit, we gave it three coats of polyvine and also we sanded lightly in between coats with a 220 grit sanding sponge. All right, one step left to go, guys. Put on the hardware, put the unit back together, and it's time for the end results. let us know what you guys think about the end results how it turned out and what you think about this video Okay guys, so there's the final results. As you can see, we had a bit of a nightmare. Testing positive for COVID really messed us up. We couldn't concentrate or focus. We couldn't make decisions. We were overheating, we had headaches. 
We had to take naps in between. Like it was just an absolute nightmare. We got there in the end though. And um, one other thing that was a bit of a nightmare is that we couldn't go out and get new um, materials, paints and all that kind of stuff. We had to use what we had here because we were in isolation. We still, still are in isolation. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare. Chantal's gonna go through all the um, prices of everything now anyway, okay? So as Dean said, our budget was 73 pounds and a few pence. The chest of drawers that we had, we got that for free. So we saved some costs there. The paint in total that we've used is 14 pound 50. The brushes that we've used were nine pound 99. The handles were £6.99, the primer was £5.62, the polyvine was £3.60, the sandpaper that we've used was £2.99, the tape that we didn't end up using but we are going to list it here was £2.89. Well we did use it, we just absolutely ruined it. <laughs> The polyfiller was £2.45 and the sugar soap was £1.99. So if you add everything up, our total expenses for this challenge was £51.02. So the calculations that we have made are on the percentages of the paint and products that we have used. So it's not £14.50 for all the for all the paint we've bought. It's, yeah. For example, like a pot of paint is £10. We use quarter of that, so it's two pound fifty of that that pot of paint. So it came out to what fourteen fifty over the over the four cans of paint we used. Sorry, we're back. We're, we're <laughs> rambling on so much. We're so we're still so like not with it. Like fuzzy, it, it, fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy's the right word. So we apologise. It's 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 just not good. We can't we can't think properly. Um. Anyway. So yeah, that's that. Yeah. So fifty fifty one oh two. Um, is what we spent on our project so yeah at least we um, got one thing right yeah, and and <laughs> as you can see by the project it, it, a bit like we said we didn't, it didn't go to well it's not our best project it was a bit of a nightmare to be fair it's definitely yeah. not our best work i think for us was the real challenge trying to get it in time and dealing with covid <laughs> yeah and um yeah just like we said we couldn't focus probably it was so hard all right guys now you've seen our little failure of a project make sure you check out the other more talented youtubers for, for their video anyway guys thanks again for watching we hope you've enjoyed the video even though it was a bit of a shambles <laughs> um please hit that subscribe button like and bell notification and as always we'll, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flip, flip side, side.